New tonight, we are hearing from the family and 24 Hour News 8's Marvis Herring has our top story. Marvis, good evening. Leon, good evening to you. The dad works three jobs. Their mom is also full time trying to provide for six kids ages 3 to 16. The family will spend Christmas in a motel. It's a site they thought was behind them. In the daylight, the damage and bright orange condemned sign stick out on Simpson Street, but the charred aftermath does not tell Nitra Blake's story of perseverance. I'm right back four months later. I'm right back. She was homeless for a year. Her family made crowded hotel rooms home. So landing this rental, it was a true gift. I would have been happy in my house. If I only had a piece of bread to eat, I would have been happy. Nitra and her boyfriend lived inside this house with their six kids. I have never had nothing really big in my life but my kids. She says the fire started upstairs Sunday afternoon, her heart racing when she couldn't find her three-year-old. And we get up the stairs, this thick black smoke. They'd eventually find him scared, hiding under a bed downstairs. She said it's the second house fire she's been through. What do you think when you saw flames and smoke? Oh my, oh my God. Nietzsche really thought her luck was changing with this house. Tonight it's condemned, but her goals for her family remain unchanged. The only thing that I'm working towards right now is trying to kind of put this behind me and try to move forward to a new house, a new home. No magic wand is finna just say magically, you know what, here you go, here's another home. Nitra was floored seeing how quickly the community stepped up to help her family this Christmas. She may appear unaffected, but there's still a cloud of uneasiness. But I know at the end of the day, when all this die down and go down, I'm still gonna be homeless. I understand it's nobody else's responsibility, but it hurts. Cause I just came from there and I thought I was a little bit up. Definitely understandable to see her pain. And right now there's no cause of that fire. Mothers of Hope, a Kalamazoo based organization, they're accepting donations for the family. They're mainly in need of monetary gifts as their hotel room can only fit so much. You can drop off checks or gifts at 603 Ada Street or visit their website to make monetary donations. We have a link up right now. Just head over to this story on WoodTV.com.